In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this uh, starburst type of effect. Uh, this is another continuation of our series on making comic book graphics for our yearbook page. If you're joining uh, this video from outside of my class, there's some of these parameters that might not apply to you because these are specifically made for um, students that I teach a yearbook class to. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to make a new document and it's the page size that we've been doing for our yearbook. So you're going to make that inches 8.75 by 11.25, which is basically a letter size with the bleed built in. And the raster effects will make 300 RGB color. All right, so the first thing you do is get out the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Hold the shift key to make it a perfect circle. It doesn't really matter how big it is. I'm just going to go with that for now. And then as far as color, you can make the fill none and the stroke can be any color you want. I'll just leave it on black. And what you're going to do is go up here and bump up the stroke and make it almost touching to the center. So somewhere like that looks like a bagel donut make it about like this. All right, and then you're going to open up the stroke panel. So go to window and open up stroke. And what you want to do is make it a dashed line. So if you go over here, click dashed line, and you'll see it gives you that starburst effect here. Uh, you can change the settings to be different numbers if you want the spacing between everything bigger or you want your starburst to be bigger. This is where you can experiment with how that is done right here. Okay, I'm just going to leave mine on the default. All right, so the next thing we need to do is to go to Object, Path, Outline, Stroke. Object, Path, Outline, Stroke. And then what that does is it turns it into a vector image, which is what we want. And now we are going to get the Direct Selection tool, click off of everything, and we're going to try to select all these points here with the lasso tool. So go grab the lasso tool, which looks like this. And you're, want, you're going to want to click in a white area. Don't click on any of the black or whatever color you made strokes. Click on the white area and go up here somewhere near the top and click and drag a circle around there so that you're selecting just those points in the middle of this. And then you're going to go to Object path and go to average and click on that and just say both to that and say okay and then it closes up that circle goes all the way to the middle all right so we're almost done with this you're going to select this and make it hold the shift key and make it go off the edges of the page okay it doesn't really matter how big that you want to do it it's totally up to you and it's okay you can either leave it centered like this in the page if you like that or you can have it off-centered. If you do it off-centered, just make sure that you enlarge it enough to cover up the entire uh, page that you have here. All right, so I'm going to put mine like this. Then the next thing we do is take the rectangle tool and draw a box that's the size of the page. So we have that. And then you get your selection tool and click on both of these. And then go to Pathfinder, which that's up in here, Window, Pathfinder. And you're going to want to click on, click the third one, Compound Shape. And then it keeps all those lines inside of your page. Then let's change the color. That black and white is way too obnoxious. So just pick a color that you want. We'll get this purple. And then get your rectangle tool. And once again, Draw a rectangle around your whole page and go to Object, Arrange, Send to Back because we want it behind that burst and then you change the color so it's a little bit different. All right, so pick your own colors. That's what, um, make them like kind of close. Don't pick anything that's really obnoxious like red and green. That will just hurt people's eyes. And then go to File save it as an illustrator file and then export for our yearbook we need you to export it as a jpeg so go to export jpeg and as always make sure this says high resolution and keep this number above five 
and then say, okay, 